Captain John Price is the ultimate champion of modern warfare and the leader all of us Call of Duty fans aspire to be. Brave. <laughs> funny. And most importantly, Price takes care of his friends. We take care of our friends. See? Told you so. Of course I'm not forgetting the fact he nurtured some muppet called Soap into an absolute killing machine. He must be doing something right. Oh, and did I mention he's a huge fan of the Stone Roses, as evident by his bucket hat that he wears into battle? He's in charge of the SAS Squad Bravo team, which has always kinda confused me because Price is the best. Who the fuck's leading Alpha team if you've got Price on? Anyway, our first ever mission with Price leading the way involves an assault on an Estonian cargo ship sailing the Bering Strait. It's rough seas, there's nuclear material on board this ship, never mind countless enemies, so there's a chance the team could be a little nervous, but not Price. He's smoking a big fat cigar, relaxing like he's sitting in his armchair instead of sitting in a helicopter. It's that level of badassery that assures you everything's gonna be fine when you've got Price on your side, and it is for the most part, Bravo team clears the the ship without really breaking a sweat until we get ambushed by some enemy aircraft and just when things look like they're going tits up, Price gets you back in the game. He's not done saving the day yet though, Soap makes an ass of his leap to the helicopter and Price has to stop him from becoming soapy bubbles in the Pacific Ocean. Despite that slight hiccup, mission accomplished. Next up on the captain's to-do list was get a friend out of trouble, like I mentioned earlier. Nikolai's in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. The bold Price reckons he can stroll into hell, slap the devil around the face and walk this guy out of there. And he's right, not before outsmarting the enemy by cutting the power to the building our hostage friend is currently residing in, and firing up the old night vision goggles to help us easily clear out the captors. Captain Price must also have fucking face recognition technology Apple would be jealous of built into his brain, because look how quickly he knows this is the guy we're after. It's him. Boom, easy days, until our helicopter gets shot down by a missile. That was actually rather inconvenient. Well, for us, Price doesn't appear to have a scratch on him. <laughs> You're still in one piece. Get up. In fact, that might be one of the few criticisms I have of Captain Price, the fact that he forgets the rest of us can actually feel pain and die. Not all the time though, he is a very empathetic man, he just doesn't show it a lot. Alright, let's top these bastards before they kill the old man. See, not just friends he looks out for, but strangers too or he really just wanted to kill those baddies. I can approve of both scenarios. Unfortunately though, the American forces didn't have a Captain Price on their side, not even a, a Captain Cost, which meant they couldn't stop a nuclear bomb being detonated and wiping out 30,000 US soldiers. The leader of the US military, General Shepard, didn't take that so well as Price will find out eventually, but for now it's up to Price and Bravo team to clean up the mess as per usual. The lads are off to Azerbaijan now to have a wee word with the guy who set off the nuke because it was a wee bit out of order, wasn't it? Oh sorry, that's my bad, I must have got to have a word with and punched the living daylights out of mixed up again. But yeah, Price really goes to town on this guy before intercepting a phone call from an old foe. It's here that we're taken back 15 years back to Lieutenant Captain Price and it, no wait that's not Lieutenant Price and Captain McMillan's mission to assassinate Imran Zakayev in Chernobyl Pripyat. The more you see of McMillan the more you realise how Price became such a warrior in the first place. Oi, Susie. He clearly absorbed some of Macmillan's Scottishness, as well as some radiation which then had some sort of reaction in Price's body on a molecular level, in my opinion. However, despite how slick this younger John Price is with the sniper, he ultimately falls at the final hurdle when it comes to killing Zakayev. Nah, that's no good enough lads. Yes, I'd be gutted too if I shot someone's arm clean off and they survived, but the fact of the matter is, you didn't assassinate him at all. Okay, that was a decent shot, but as long as young Price learns from this experience, then I guess we'll move on. Delta 2-4, this is Alpha 6. We have been compromised. I repeat, we have been compromised. Ah, so he was the leader of Alpha Team, that makes sense. But anyway, this is when Price really earns his stripes. The duo take down a helicopter and Macmillan forgets that just because he's Scottish doesn't mean he's invincible in the heli lands on him, leaving up to Lieutenant Price to save the day. Unsurprisingly, he holds off a shit ton of enemies, allowing them both time for evac to arrive. 
Now, if only he was as good at assassinations as he was at sniping hordes of oncoming bad guys. But hey, no one's perfect, except Soap. But even still, he couldn't jump into a helicopter. Flash forward to the present day and Price is disagreeing with the enemy's plea for him and Bravo team to surrender. No surprise there, although shockingly it's the Americans who arrive and help the guys out of a bad spot. Now they're teaming up. Naturally, Price is in charge of the entire outfit, and he comes up with an ingenious plan to find Zakayev's whereabouts through his son by ambushing the son's convoy dressed as a bunch of ultra-nationalists, and it goes swimmingly until the son bails out on life. Shit. Now Price has the small problem of the world possibly ending because he got Zakayev's son killed. I'm not doubting you Price, but that's a couple times the Zakayevs have done you. So yeah, the, the mission is to now stop the world from ending, but the Americans are at it again. Sergeant Griggs fucks up the skydive and gets himself captured by the enemy, so now we have to go and save him first, and Price is not best pleased. About damn time. I was starting to think you guys were going to leave me behind. That was my first thought, but your ass had all the C4. But, once again, Price has saved a friend. Oh, uh, we got a problem here! There's another one! Well, you know, maybe the team could have stopped those launches if... <sighs> Jesus, 41 million lives are on the line here! By the time the guys make it inside the facility, more missiles are being prepared for launch. Price has 8 minutes to essentially save the world with his team. With some superb leadership, the guys manage to get to the control room and abort the launches and destroy the missiles headed for the states. <sighs> close one. It's been a long day for Price and the boys, so much so that as they're gearing up to escape, they start having cravings for a good drink. It's just too hot, man. <laughs> but room temperature? Please, a beer should be ice cold. A lager, maybe, or a glass of water like you drink, or a pint of stout. <laughs> I'm gonna have to school y'all both when we get back stateside. Yeah, well, either way, we're stopping in London first. Buy. When the guys eventually stop daydreaming about alcohol and are desperately trying to escape the endless swarm of bad guys, Price is told that their evac is delayed by 15 minutes. I mean, I'm quite annoyed when my train is delayed, never mind my escape to safety, and Price calmly lets them know how he feels. Keeping his cool again until their predicament gets way worse. <laughs> It's a dire situation that is spiralling out of control. Soap and Price are blown up at one stage and Sergeant Griggs, to be fair to him, tries to save Soap. You'll be surprised to see that doesn't work. <laughs> Captain Price and Soap are struggling to stay alive as Zakayev approaches. Maybe Gaz can help set up, maybe not. However, the captain has friends in high places and one of them shows up in the nick of time, stunning Zakayev and his men, giving Price the chance to use the last of his energy to make the pass of the century to Soap. Like Chavi in his prime with a football, Price assists Soap with a pistol and he bags himself a hat-trick. The war is over. Except it wasn't, and we've still got two other parts of this video series to go. I hope you've enjoyed part one of this epic tale of Captain Price in the Modern Warfare franchise. If you did, please leave a like in the video, and let me know your favourite Price moment in COD 4. Do also let me know what you'd like to see me point out in part 2, looking at Modern Warfare 2 and Captain Price's adventures in that game. Shout out to the first Notification Squad members of 2018, and if you'd like to become part of the Notification Squad, or the Priceification Squad, hit that wee bell icon when you subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.